Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event on MPC? On MPC, I'm ready as well. CBS, the talk. This is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Stations, this is the talk. How do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. How me? We hear you loud and clear. Excellent. Welcome to the International Space Station. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I've been here, but I've been there before. <laughs> Just kidding. Getting by. Here we go. Welcome back to the talk. Today we have a special treat. We're about to meet a mom whose devotion, let's just say, reaches beyond the stratosphere. Katie Coleman is a NASA astronaut and a mother of two. And she joins us now from the International Space Station. Hello, Katie. <laughs> Hello. This is so cool, isn't it? Hey, Katie, well, I want to Welcome ask aboard a the space station. This is Leah. Welcome aboard the space station. This is Leah. Welcome aboard the space station. Look at this. Wow. Are you going to be okay or? <laughs> There's a delay too, so we got to take that in. There's a delay too, so we got to take that in. Katie, can you hear me? You know, we. we Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, good. Okay, well, I'm not the brightest person, so please don't try to say smart things when you're talking to me. But when you're talking to Sarah and Julie, you can say, you know, things that have to do with what you're doing. Um, <laughs> I want to know about your day-to-day. -day. Like, what? Take, take me through, like, an average day for you. What, do you have your own room. You get up. What do you do? Do you shower? Do you, do you have a chef? What, what goes on up there? <laughs> You know, we, we get up in the morning, brush our teeth, eat breakfast, just like uh, everybody else, um, except that everything we do, we're weightless, and, and all the things we're doing it with are weightless as well. So you start off with that teeth brushing thing, and I have to say, you know, spitting, that's going to be a problem. So we swallow our toothpaste, and uh, the day goes weightless from there. Wow. And that, what, is your, what is your average work day? Is it like a real eight-hour day, or...? And then what do you guys do? You sit around looking out the windows? Or what do you guys do? <laughs> this is what I want to know. <laughs> you know, seriously, uh, we live to look out the windows because it is simply amazing uh, to look out. And, you know, it, every day is different looking down at the earth. It depends on the weather. It depends on the lighting. I'm learning geography hand over foot. And so we live to look out the window. But I will say that most of our work is inside, you know, here in the space station. I'm in the Japanese, uh, the Japanese part of the space station. Um, it's the module that they built for experiments. We have a European module. We have a Russian section, a, a uh, United States section. The Canadians built the arm. It's a big, big international venture. And every day, um, actually, the the, the, night, the day begins the night before because I look at the schedule, see what I'm going to do, and I study up and, uh, and just try to understand what experiments uh, I'm going to do. And I can actually show you one of them. Uh, one of them is coming right at me right now. Wow. So cool is that? So cool is that? So before I show you this, let me just uh, show you something else. Oops. It's going to come back to me, okay? I want to show I want to show you why we do these experiments, and that is because this is a bag of water, okay? And I'm squeezing, squeezing. Let's see. Ah. So it's a brand new bag of water, and so my straw was a little crimped there. And I'm going to come a little fo closer, and you can see this giant blob of water. And we're getting to see in space what do liquids really, really want to do. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I'm curious, because I know you have kids at home, how do you stay close to your kids? Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I'm just curious how you stay close to your kids while you're in space. Well, one of the ways that, that we stay close is I try to keep him really interested in, in what I'm doing, and I'm shaking up our, our fluids experiments so you can kind of see, you know, what the what a real experiment looks like and not just uh, playing with our water drops, but understanding how fluids behave in space. Well, it, it has to do with everything we do at home. And everything that we wear, everything that is in our house that is made with a process of something flowing through a pipe, we need to understand what liquids do. And this experiment actually shows us um, how to design fuel tanks for satellites. And you think, well, gee, why would I care? Everybody uses a cell phone, electronic devices, communication, military defense, you name it. And it all comes from things like this. When we talk about um, trying to keep my son interested, another way I do that is actually to bring um, one, some, one of his things with me up to space. He's a big fan, and so am I, of Calvin and Hobbes. And so um, I've brought a little, uh, a little Hobbes up in space with me. And I bring Hobbes to do experiments, and I take pictures and send them down to the ground so he understands what I'm doing every day. And I did that while I was training for this mission as well. That's so cool. Wow. So, Katie, since you've been in space, uh, what extra daddy duties has your husband um, had to take on since you're there on a six-month mission? Well, you know, I think a lot, and I really thank him for, for doing all of that. And, uh, you know, I would have to say it's, it's uh, hard for me to, to let some of that go. You know, everything's not going to be done maybe the way that you would do it. And yet I know my son is in great hands. He's just a super, super dad. I, I think it's hard for any parent to be a parent alone. I know that um, because my husband and I both commute, we have a commuting marriage, we're both single parents in a certain way. And so uh, I think uh, it's really hard for him just because there's, there's nobody else to help, really. On a somber note, uh, we, oh, okay, hang on one sec. Okay. Your commander there in space is the brother-in-law to Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Um, what has it been like at the International Space Station since the Tucson shootings? You know, it's it's hard to be far away when uh, when things are happening down on Earth, and I can't speak for Scott, but I think something like the tragedy in Tucson, at least for me, it, you know, it, it makes me think how how precious all my relationships are, and and it just made me want to call you know everybody that I love and.